So where are we? We are here in Cranberry Township, Pennsylvania, one of our favorite places to go to Monster Bash. Let's go. Monster Bash. Here it is. We live just outside of Columbus, and uh, he was. Uh, I love the um, the bags, uh, the print on those bags. Like, oh, All right, so we're here for Monster Bash. Let's take you through um, this year's vendors, and dealers, and stuff. Lots of good, rare Blu-rays, obscure stuff, things you don't normally see. Blu-ray, things like that. Um, always cool things, always cool collectibles. You got everything from magazines, posters, model kits. You got the King Kong model kits. Always good stuff over there. All of the artwork stuff. Always lots of cool things there. Um, always, always great vendors and, and unique stuff too. You can find the classic monster collectibles, but you can also find stuff like this. Pumpkins and different things and artwork. Amazing, amazingly cool artwork, which is always good. There's more stuff over here. Blu-rays there. Killer masks. Incredible night lights over there, which are awesome. And then we've got celebrities. Well, you can meet um, lots of celebrities here. You got Tony Isabella, who is a legend for sure. Hi, Tony. Um, a true legend. You got to come here to Monster Bash. Very cool. I'm being called, I just don't know from where. Uh, what are you doing? That's different. Hey, this works. That's nice. And it's signed by Julia Adams. That's really nice. Yeah, it is. Look at all people up there. It's cute. I'm surprised there are more people here with those. Thank you. Yeah, that's from I think 1990. Yeah. 
pretty well made. Yeah. It's made in China. I write your name on this. Hey. Here is oh, the he uh, the beauty. There he goes. <laughs> A quarter to get into that. Maybe fifty cents. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. Thing out. It's a gremlin mold. That's so cool. It's really heavy. It reminds me of the squeezy thing. Yeah, yeah and that's what it's a thing where it's like the yeah. eyes bulge out. That's, <laughs> that's so neat. I'm like the gremlins in World War II. Did you see those? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they were things? a problem on an airplane. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, oh I, put, I, I brought the list that I was telling you about. So now you can do a look at the content. There's some really cool stuff in those. And they're like the only ones. Yeah. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Those are cool puzzles. And I love the army of giant robots, which makes no sense, but that is awesome. <laughs> We're at three to five without them. Super heavy. <laughs> That's cool. Well, I just mean to drive back. That's cool. Dressing room title cards, makeup kit. Wait for it. That's so cool. Wow. Another makeup kit. Are they the same one? Wow. But that's nothing. That's nothing. We still filming great. Oh. <laughs> Those are so in, in 3D. There we go. <laughs> those are awesome. Yeah, no, those are awesome. It's better. The packaging is great. The stars for the dressing rooms. Invitations, wow. envelopes, tickets, title cards. Oh, you got the. Action. You need that. What was this for? This is like a kids' play set or something. Yeah, look, it's for kids to put on a play. Wow. To pretend they're in a movie. In the 60s, we didn't have apps. <laughs> and show the kids how to get a giant ass box of stuff. <laughs> and there's a script. There's no there, there's, a, there's a script. And they could act this out. There's a whole there's a whole script. And it's a price road and storyboard. And then there's a whole like, here's your setup. You guys think that's everything? No, 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 there's more. Oh, look, for like curtains and curtains, decorations. Paper curtains and, yeah. Tragedy. Cool. Non-tragedy. <laughs> wow. It's all tragic. Depends how you keep flipping it. Tragic. So tragic. <laughs> that is neat. I really like it. How many? Do you know how many different like movie? How many different scripts? They made three. There's three. Yep. Wow. So what was the other one? The other one's underneath this box. What's this that's in here? Like a wig or something. What's that on your head? A wig! I'm What's that on your head? A wig! That's a wig and fake hair for like, you know, doing... Vincent like... Price's Merkin, that's my next tattoo. <laughs> the other one is the Frog Prince. The Frog Prince. Which is actually pretty amazing when you actually see the frog uh, cardboard head that's inside there. That's cool. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Yes. That's actually really cool. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah. And as promised, crown. your crown. Mm -hmm. crown. A lot better than the Burger King variety. Exactly. I had my mom used to take me to Kmart. It was a big deal, and they used to have those Ben Cooper costume. Mm -hmm. And I had one that was the mummy. It had a picture of the mummy on the front, and I still have the front of it hanging on the wall in my basement. So that, that was pretty. Cool. That's awesome. Remember the 
the zombie from Shaun of the Dead when they throw the records at the zombie. Yeah. I was that zombie one year. And we, we cut up an old 45 and stuck half of it over here and the other half of it down here, painted my face all white, and I walked around all day. That's awesome. That oh, it's always amazing stuff. Yeah. I know, they're great. See, we got the metal in the background. They are amazing. There's a Spangoli one. That's awesome. Mothman. I like the little wolf man. It's so cute. She walked she went to walk around. She does such a good job on these. They're adorable. And a Sven. And a wolf man. And a wolf man. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? And he's got... That's cool. And then these guys, the eyes light up. It's just hard to see in here. It actually glows really bright. Uh, yeah, they're cool. Awesome. Isn't this great with the eyes? I love them. Elmer's glue. Yeah. You know, it's got a faint... If, if this were a dimmer room, yeah, yeah. and I went across it like that, oh, wow. just that much, it would already be kind of glowing. But this is just such a bright room. I, I'm Dave Ruins Art. Uh, my very favorite Halloween costume from when I was a little kid is I, I would dress up like a werewolf and I would just completely destroy all my clothes and just cover myself in blood. So I look like a hairy zombie. <laughs> That's my happiest memory. That's awesome. That's awesome. And your art is amazing. Yes. And if you take a look at the screen, you'll see. It'll focus. Yeah. There we go. Once I get it to focus. Okay. Be at Dave one. Ruins Art. At Dave Ruins Art. Incredible stuff. Yeah, these, and these are awesome. We just showed you yes. them glowing. How much they glow. And like this, you can't even see how incredible this glows here because it's so well lit. But it's like a full red skull. And what I love about this is it reminds me of like what you'd see in a dark ride. Yeah. Like the artwork. Oh, yeah. The faces yes. change inside like, yeah. like a dark ride. Black Light was like a real 70s that thing cool. to do. Too. It's the best. Yeah. <laughs> I do black velvets too, but nobody ever shows it again. Nobody even knows what they are. No, that's Amazing awesome. stuff. So contact Gotta bring them back. <laughs> Dave Ruins Art and order some stuff. Yes. Especially this fine stuff. Yeah. It's fun. It's so cool. All right, so finally I get to pick out a Halloween costume. And it's like the mid-70s. It's like 1975. I'm like, all right, it's going to be a werewolf. So get a werewolf mask, it's terrific, you know, get some fake fur for the chest. And my mom is like, oh, no one's going to know you're a werewolf. I'm like, everyone will know I'm a werewolf. She goes, no, you need a moon. You need a full moon. So she staples a cardboard cutout moon to the back of my head that I had to walk around with, with it flopping behind me like a halo. <laughs> What, what year was this about? I'd say 1975. That's amazing. That is amazing. My favorite Halloween costume, I dressed up as Mrs. Haversham, the crazy lady from Great Expectations. And that was just, I never liked dressing up like brides and pretty little girls. I always liked the horror stuff. So that was my favorite one. That's awesome. Thank you. My favorite thing that I was for Halloween. I was actually a, an adult for it. I made this zombie that was crawling over my shoulder and I had it attached. He had one arm here and one arm here and he was biting my neck. And then I got that, you know, fake flesh and I had it ripped here and some blood coming down. And that was pretty neat. And um, I had Kane Hodder. I was at a, an event with Kane Hodder and he came up and he was like, oh my God, that is great. And so he, even he was impressed. So that was pretty neat. That's awesome. That's awesome. My favorite Halloween costume is the cat in the hat. And I actually still dress up as the cat in the hat sometimes for school. I'm a teacher and I like to surprise the kids by dressing up as the cat in the hat. The coolest Halloween costume I ever had was it came in one of those cardboard boxes with a clear window on it. It was the Frankenstein monster. This was like 1965. I was like six years old, and it was you know the hard plastic with like a rubber band on the back. I put it on and I sweated profusely. <laughs> that cold, clammy sweat as I went trick or treating. And I loved the whole thing. All right, what was your favorite Halloween costume when you were a kid? It's Ghostbuster, Peter Venkman. Uh, I uh, 
I, I had the pack, I, I had the brown uh, uh, jumpsuit, I had the Venkman name tag. It was it was awesome costume. Uh, I had this one that was a plastic mask. It was the Frankenstein face. It was sort of a scar coming in. I think some some people have it here, but it had you know it was like it was that plastic stuff. You put it on, and by the end of the evening on Halloween, you'd have like a ball of sort of you know condensation right down here in the chin because you'd be breathing into it all night long and it would like get all moist and it was cold you know and everything but that plastic mask with the frankenstein face that was it yeah. that's awesome here's celebrities you have right here is how cool is that? They're the cutest thing in the dealer room. Only two left. We just sold the third one, so wrapping one up. But there's two left. Twenty dollars. And they're signed. They're signed on the back. Twenty dollars. That's what I look like when I take off. That's what he looks like. They're all a little different, but there are only two left. left. There were ten. Only ten, so limited edition. Everybody would want a vampire next to the turkey. <laughs> all right. Yeah. For all of you wondering where you can get Xandar's autograph, go right here to his website. So now available, go to monstergeneralstore.com where you can get your own Xandar action figure right here from Dracula vs. Frankenstein. You can go there, you can order it. And if you want to get it autographed by Xandar, who was here at Monster Bash but will not be signing after this season because he puts the cape away for the holidays. Go to xandervorkov.com. You can send in your stuff there and get it signed. If you own the Famous Monsters issue, you can get that signed. Or the soundtrack album or any of that stuff, you can get it signed and meet the man himself if you happen to be at a convention. But the action figure is available here, Monster General Store, then you'll have to send it to him to get it signed. So the uh, favorite Halloween Memory, something you dressed up as for Halloween and you can't say Dracula. Wait a minute. As an adult or as a kid? As a kid. Yes, I do. Um, my mother was very creative and she was an artist. And so when I was probably an age that I wouldn't be embarrassed, she dressed me as the, as the bathroom. She put a, I don't know what she put, a, probably a belt around my place and she had a roll of toilet paper. I can't remember, I, that sticks out, but she had oh, a toilet brush on the other side. And I didn't, what didn't faze me, I was a kid, I was interested in the candy, give me the bag so I could get candy. And so I went out, this was down in, you know, Miami, Florida, so it was a little different atmosphere. It worked. People laughed and the flame. Look at this guy. Give him some candy. Turn around. You know, so that's what I remember. I haven't thought about that till you asked. You know. All right. So Zelda Meister School. I went dressed as a caveman. And I had a caveman mask, and I had like a uh, plastic bat that kind of looked like a club. And my mother had like a fur spade, fur coat, so I wore that. And uh, I won the prize for the best werewolf, which I gladly took. I forgot what a prize was, but I was just happy to win. Tony, can I ask you one question? Two questions. Two questions? All right, Tony. Right there, I mean, that says it all. A, a true legend in the industry, but... I'm going to ask you a question that has nothing to do with that. What is the best thing that you ever wore for Halloween as a kid? Zorro. Zorro? Zorro. That's cool. Very cool. I, I would have loved to have had a real sword and clean up the neighborhood. But yes, Zorro was a favorite of mine since the TV show with Guy Williams. In Classic. fact, uh, I learned to read and write from comic books by the time I was four. And one of the first things I wrote, which is unfortunately lost in the ages, was an article about, you know, the Zorro TV show. Wow. That's cool. Gulardi was your horror host? Yeah. Nice. That's awesome. What's your favorite monster movie? Oh, probably Gojira. Nice. Followed closely by Godzilla Raids Again, 
which in the Japanese is a hell of a lot better than the American version. The Japanese version has great character play, uh, a real sense of, of loss when when a leading character dies fighting Godzilla. I mean, it's a it's one of those underrated. It's like the giant claw. You know, if the giant claw had a better monster, it would be considered a classic. It's got great acting, great great script, rotten <laughs> rotten looking monster. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. You're very appreciate welcome. it. Thank you. Carl, can I ask you what your favorite Halloween costume was when you were a kid? Um, I hate to say it, but I was like a hobo one time. And I used a... The reason I did it was because I got to use a, a pillowcase for the... To go trick or treat with it. Instead of a little stupid plastic bucket or whatever. Big pillowcase. <laughs> Much more black. Much more well, candy. You could fit more candy in there, too. Yeah, exactly. Which is good. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Linda, can I ask you the same question? What, what was your favorite Halloween costume as a kid? Cinderella. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I just love dress. And I, you know, I was very, a little girly girl when I was growing up, so I, I love Cinderella. Did you have the pumpkin or did you have the... I don't remember. I just, I just remember the dress. It was very frilly and girly. And, yeah. That's awesome. I like Cinderella. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Greg, can I ask you one question? What was the f your favorite costume as a kid that you dressed up as for Halloween? To dress up as Halloween? For Halloween, yeah. Oh. Uh -oh. I had one very special Halloween. I was delivering papers, the Mirror, the Mirror News afternoon version, in, in the Hollywood area. And one of my customers was a makeup artist in the studios. And uh, he'd been a customer for, I don't know, I want to say eight or ten months, something like that. I'd collected from him every month. He was always a nice guy, always had the money on time and everything. And Halloween was coming around. And somehow or another, he'd found out that I'd done some work in Halloween. And he said, uh, what would you like to be for Halloween? And I said, I hadn't even thought about it. You know, I he said, uh, come see me Halloween afternoon, and I'll give you the best costume you ever had. Well, he went to Western Costume. He found a clown suit that would fit me when I was 10. And he gave me the world's greatest makeup job you ever saw as a clown. <laughs> it was awesome. I got, I got home. To go out to trick or treat, and my mom said, "Who the heck are you?" <laughs> <laughs> and of course, no one thought to take a picture at the time. No, no. but uh, it, it was wonderful. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I do That's remember amazing. being a pirate a couple of times and watching my mom uh, burn cork to give me <laughs> beards and such. Uh, it, on other Halloweens, um, played a bum on occasion. Uh, it was probably closer to real life than I knew. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, awesome. The clown was the greatest. <laughs> awesome. And it wasn't my idea; it had nothing to do with it. I just showed up. <laughs> awesome. Can I ask you the same question? Yeah. Um, I was Batman crazy as a kid in 1966, the TV show with Adam West had just hit. I was five years old, so I was the right age, perfect time. And uh, Ben Cooper put out a Batman Halloween costume. And, uh, you know, it was a cheap kind of plastic mask that you had on with very little eye slits. So you, you put this thing on and you can't, you can't see other than right in front of you. And a little cheap, you know, uh, uh, I guess it was some kind of a, uh, yeah, a little, little plastic like thing. Like a smock type thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, but I was Batman for Trick or Treat, and that was, uh, for a five-year-old Batman crazy kid, that was the best. That's awesome. Thanks for asking. Now, Thank you. How about you? What was your favorite Halloween costume? Oh, I was Wolfman one year. Oh, that's so I, I love. There I love you go. <laughs> that's perfect. 
That's I would have guessed me, the Herman, every Yeah, time. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right. Now, did you do a makeup or did you have a mask? Oh, no, like you. The plastic the ben, mask. The, and, the mask, okay. Yeah, with the little smock thing, the Ben Cooper costume. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Same but, thing. You know, when you put that mask on with the suit, and, you know, you're a little kid. You, you, you become that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then you got candy for it. We're talking about it. I'm talking, yeah. Well, but, but I was telling her I never got to dress up for Halloween. My parents wouldn't let me. Oh, why? Because like, they were a very conservative household, and they didn't think it was appropriate. Uh, but but I was telling her I worked at an ice cream parlor <coughs> um, for Ferrell's, and um, I was not a good waitress. So they let me dress up for Halloween as a clown, and I stood at the door and welcomed everybody that came in. That was the only time I ever was dressed up for Halloween, but it was fun. It was so you were a clown and he was a clown. Yeah. A couple of clowns. We're, we're, <laughs> still, we're and, still clowns. We're still clowns. And, and we had four kids, so we had no trouble dressing up. But so, yeah. <laughs> you, you said you were a seamstress. You made I was. Them, I did. I made their costumes. Yeah. That's oh, amazing. that's fun. You know, yeah. We were hustling their candy. You know, <laughs> <laughs> That's why you sent them yes, out. Yes, we did. Yeah. We couldn't afford to buy costumes That's the truth. for them. That's why I made them. Oh, no. No, but... But homemade costumes are yeah. the best. But we tripled our candy supply when they got home. <laughs> it, was, it was a wonderful thing. It was, it was a lot of it fun. It worked out well for everybody. Yes. Well, and, you know, we would let them pick out one or two things that they were going to eat then after we looked through it. Because, you know, it was at that time when you had oh, to sure. look at the kids' candy. Sure. And there were still, you know, home-baked things that, you know, we wanted to make sure they were okay before they ate. Yeah. And while we were doing that, of course, we picked out our favorite things. <laughs> and, and then we gave them their buckets back and they could, to, you know, the things. Um, what was your favorite candy? What was what did so you pick out? Be missing from the buckets when they go oh, back well, to the I, kids. I liked the um, the butterfingers mm -hmm. and the um, um, the um, tootsie rolls. I like the butterfingers and the tootsie rolls. I like three musketeers. <laughs> yeah. There's no wrong answers. <laughs> and, and Snickers. Since so she got to the bag before I did, she got all the. Butterfingers. Like <laughs> I like Snickers. I'll admit. There's a, there's a bag of Butterfingers up in the room that I brought for him. Oh, I love it. <laughs> to make it up for it. For I haven't had for, one. Nor have I. I make, I make some killer peanut butter or Butterfinger ice cream, though. Ooh, that sounds amazing. Oh. Yes, she does. Wow. <laughs> Look how exciting <laughs> when, we were, when we were growing up, my dad made ice cream in the crank machine. And we, you know, he put the salt around the thing and then the, and then the burlap on the top. And we would sit on it while he cranked to, you know, keep the pressure on the paddles. There's a name for those paddles. We had a, we had a crank one for a long time. And then my dad went crazy and was going Went out and got one that you plugged in, and it turned. Oh wow! Oh, it was a wonderful thing because uh, me and my sister didn't have to crank anymore. <laughs> I was, earned that ice cream. I was never strong enough to crank, but um, my stepdad, he's 95 now, and he always has four or five different kinds of homemade ice cream in his freezer. Oh That's wow! That's the one. He's not That's cranking awesome. it anymore. No, <laughs> we do now. He has two. Of the Cuisinart things, oh, and nice. um, you know he makes vanilla ice cream for himself, and then he makes Butterfinger and Oreo and strawberry and cherry for everybody else. Oh wow! And, um, it's gotta be delicious. Wow. And so, and they also taught me how to do canning and jelly making, and so I, I love to do that stuff. I love to cook. Yeah, that's amazing. He doesn't like to eat what I cook most of the time. That's not true. I like I like to cook very eclectic things. And, well, she's um, talking about dinner now, not ice. Cream, so. That's true. That's true. You know, he's like, give me the steak and the potato, and I'm a happy camper. Steak, potato, and ice cream. Oh, I'm Irish. What can I tell you? <laughs> That's where I'm going as soon as nine o'clock rolls around. He's going straight to eat. Oh yes. That's correct. And then there's some butterfingers for later. And then the butter yes. Butterfingers, butterfingers for later. Now that I know, <laughs> she mentioned that she brought them. It was the first mention that I had heard. No. I put all the snacks up in the little bar area in our room and told you about it when I unpacked the suitcase. You just said the snacks are out. And I never looked. I never looked. This is, this is, this is, this is, first time I heard man. my... 
I am not 42 kidding. years, my I odd man. Oh, kidding. that's amazing. I never knew there were butterfingers on the ground. <laughs> Wait a minute. You've got butterfingers up there? <laughs> You've got butterfingers up there? I brought him butterfingers. I, I brought him um, um, rum coated peanuts. Whoa. I bought him. I brought him. Um, Something else. I'm gonna skip dinner and go yeah. just up to you. She didn't bring anything for herself. <laughs> no, I brought myself some red vines, oh, okay. and um, and I got a, a, a payday from the little store over here. Oh, that, and yeah, wow. it was midnight when we got here last night. By the oh. time we, you know, and. So we took everything up to the room, and then we came back down to look for something to eat. Because there was nothing open or close. And um, so we ended up with Tostitos and queso dip. And, and I was, got a candy bar. And he, and he, well, <laughs> you did share my Tostitos and queso dip. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, 1230 at night, anything. And, and, yeah, I, and I got a bottle of wine from the, from the lady before she closed nice. the bar down. So... That sounds like a good night. Tostitos, queso dip, and, and Pinot Noir. It was <laughs> it was not bad. That definitely doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> Might have to try that sometime. <laughs> what are your names? I'm Amy. Amy, I'm Sandy. Nice, nice to meet you. Sandy, nice to meet you. I'm Andy. Nice to meet you, Andy. Nice to meet you, Greg. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Andy. Bob. Andy. Andy. Oh, nice to meet you, Bob. Bob. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. His name is Andrew. I won't forget your name. Oh, good. Oh, perfect. Thank you. And thanks for sharing your Halloween memories. We appreciate sure. it. That's awesome. That was a great story. And I, I love how you were both clowns. Two clowns and a Batman. Yeah, you go. That's oh, Batman, perfect. Nice. <laughs> That's oh, I was, awesome. I was Batman crazy. I mean, 1966, I was That's five when the time. TV show hit. I was Robin crazy. There you go. <laughs> oh, he was you're like... cuter than Batman. <laughs> yeah. he was cuter. Wow, you see that? Depends on who you ask. He didn't even know me then. No, he was 36 and I was 21. When we I could picture you in the Robin costume. I mean, we could, you know, put the there suit on. There might have been a time when I'd have been. I think you got it. It hadn't been lately, but. It's all the better for your ice cream. <laughs> he, it, it did not go over well be, with. Would you rather be Robin or eat a Butterfingers? Butterfingers. Candy wins every time. You look intense like that. The tape was provided to me by Xander Horton. We did our last Q&A. I said, do you have any ideas for the next Q&A? He said, wear a cape. <laughs> Provided me with a cape. So That's awesome. So I don't know if you want to put on your show that yeah. Xander is available for fashion consultations. <laughs> Bar mitzvahs. Bar mitzvahs. <laughs> Private events, yes. weddings. Yes. All that fun stuff. <laughs> Also, and and maybe Christmas events too. He perhaps, he didn't say no to the Santa hat. He didn't turn it down. He didn't turn it down. It's not Thanksgiving. He said, "We'll think about it." But if you know, you're thinking, "Hey, what can I do about my look?" <laughs> the authentic. Just add a cape. It it does it changes your entire appearance. <laughs> Contact Xander. You look so much more intense now. I mean, that's. I feel more intense. I know. Yes. Like that's why I'm standing so far away. Right. I'm a little right. I'm a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little. You sent this to me. I waited till midnight to take it out of the box. I was afraid light would hit it. Sunlight and disintegrate it. Nobody would believe it. So it's true. Yeah. Well, it's documented. It's here. This is the cave. He might be biting people in a little while. You know, a little later on. So. me by Xander Morkoff as a fashion tip. So if you're looking for you or any of your friends need fashion tips, contact Xander. Got it. I feel sorry for your wife tonight. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing the cape to bed. He just came in with a cape? I don't know. What's the best thing you ever wore for Halloween? Your favorite Halloween costume? My favorite Halloween costume? Oh my gosh. Well, I never dressed up much, but I made a costume for my little brother, which was the one of the saucer men from Invasion of the Saucer Men. I made the head out of paper mache and, and chicken wire and, and he won first place in the uh, Halloween contest with uh, looking like a saucer man. That's amazing. That's awesome. That's That's awesome. awesome. It was fun. Favorite Halloween costumes? I don't know. Um, I, I, it's kind of a, a actually a sore spot. Like when I was a kid, I, I had this nice topstone mummy mask. Wow. Um, but then, you know, what, you're supposed to have wrappings, right? But my mom made the costume for me, and it was like uh, out of a sheet, and it was just like giant white pajamas. So that wasn't a favorite costume. But oh. uh, <laughs> other than that, I would do Frankenstein and uh, wear a Frankenstein mask and have the coat on and then lifts and stuff like that and lumber around and hand out candy that way. So. Nice.
That's a good one. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mean the product. I mean her. It was just it's all gone. Yeah. That's too bad. Yeah. It's way, way. I can't wait sometime. <laughs> so I'm glad you got that. Lots of neat stuff. What'd you get? Got a paper bat? Very cool. I love those. The tissue bats, my bad. Oh, cool. Cool, right? Yes. You'll be rocking those this weekend, I take it. <laughs> Let's see what we've got over here. Awesome stuff. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, he's cute. We'll have to get. Oh, no, I can here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's pretty cool too. Pumpkins. Hey, Okay. I did. Yes. decorations. Very good. Thank you. That's a one. How's everything? Hey, there he is. Expert about that card, you know, Corey. Yeah. So, can't wait to get his uh, <laughs> say on it because it do. He remembers. What's his name? Her name's Nova. Yeah, yeah, I'll do 20. And he works, I, I did test him uh, just before. Yeah, that's There's an outlet fly. right in the corner if you want to verify. That's okay, so all I got, if it doesn't work, all I got to do is replace the bolt. Yeah, 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 there you go. So, yeah, easy enough. Good, good. Isn't that cool? That it's like a cool. Mexican fly. They took the phantom. And they made the fly out of it. Yeah, they can't cool. the body on that, right? That is so neat. That There's another awesome. one that they did in 78, so it's like a decade after this one. That one's from 68. And it has four arms. It's on a Spider-Man body, but they grafted four, four sets of arms on it, and they put a fly head on the Spider-Man body. That's cool. But that he looks so like, cool. did you ever see the old Cramps album where Lux has the bug eye glasses? Yeah, yeah. That's what that fly looks like. And it's from 78. <laughs> Oh. He's so cute. Hey, good boy. It's nice to see you. You're so fluffy. You're getting your hair cut soon. Though. Yes, he's getting his. <laughs> and the house room going to get him on a regular schedule after that. So. He's, he's absolutely all set with these pets. Oh, yeah. He's like, yeah, I'm good. I'll stay I've, right here. I've befriended no one now. <laughs> yeah, so like I said, after he's met you a few times, he'll, he'll remember you now. Oh. So. <laughs> That's cool. This must be off of a bus. Oh, yeah. Which one is that? Clockwork Orange bus poster. That looks great. I mean, that looks insane under black, right? Yeah. That's nice. Oh, look at all the Sure. Look at all the things. Oh, he's a dealer. Yeah. Oh, terrible. Let me ask you now. That's cool. The unknown terror. Actually, I've never seen that. Or this. The Backwoods Massacre. Oh, yeah. Corey's looking for that one. I've never actually seen this one. That's cool. And of course, I match. Oh, yeah, you do match. match. Yeah. These are a very specific black and orange. This is blow mold black and orange. Did you ask for that at the nail salon? You said, said give me blow mold nails. <laughs> they said something that I don't know. And then they left and told me to get out.
This is cool. I like these. The blinkies. Those are like essential. Yes. They're so cute. Yeah. This is cool too. You don't really see this one ever. No, especially with the skull. Yeah. That one with the skull is a and this. tough one. I yeah, love just early. any old early, Halloween early paper. Just amazing. Just, it's just tough. So and today's yeah. actually Friday the 13th. Yes, it is. That's a good one. You got some good ones. Oh, that's cool. I just bought the movie, so I... Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah, it's it's meant meant to, to be. be. Yeah. It's meant to be. It's meant to be. It's the to be. It's meant to be. Stuff. They are cute, but the cake pops. Oh, are adorable. It's like mad balls. Oh yeah. Is there any? The cake pops. What do you think? You think someday kids are gonna go crazy for these, like, uh, like we do for the old ones, the originals? The boxes themselves. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, you've got someday a someone's gonna see this price and go, "Oh my God! If I only had a time machine." Yeah. And especially this Monster Mash one because of how special it is. You think it's a 50th anniversary box, you know? They're pretty cool. They're, they're great. They're great. They're great. I saved the set myself, so if it ever happens. Get a chocolate Frankenstein and a chocolate pie. Nice, the All right, this year, which one's your guy? Who you going with? I like the Wolfman a lot. <laughs> really? Not the Wolfman? I love the Wolfman. Christopher Lee Dragon is pretty amazing. It's going to be Christopher Lee? That one's good. It looks so much like it.